Hey guys, what's up? So, having some issues getting my, uh, these notorious Big Tree Tech 2.0 Trinamic 2208 drivers working um, in UART mode. And there's a lot of different information on the internet that some works, some doesn't work. And I thought I'd show you how it works with the, or how it's going to work with an SKR 1.3 board um, that actually has internal UART wiring. Um, but I'll show you some of the things I found out with the schematics and the pinout and how I'm going to make it work. But uh, first let me show you uh, one of the first things I discovered about this driver. And I'll bring it up on my uh, microscope here that it's on right now. But yeah, the actual pin is on a different pin. So the PDU pin, which is a UR pin, is on this side. It's actually labeled PDR UR right there. That's wrong for the SKR board. It's supposed to be NC pin, and I'll show you how I verify that. The uh, right there, that is the uh, X UR pin right there, and that's actually it leads back and heads back to the actual the 1768 processor. If you can see in the frame, so I'm gonna put my test probe here, and this is actually the NC pin that I showed you, just showed you. I'm getting continuity there, right? Whereas for the SKR board, the way this thing is wired, the Tridynamic driver, it's not, it's actually not wired in the PDU pin, but obviously there's no continuity there. Um, but I do actually have a solder bridge, and I'll show you that real fast. Alright, so here's the top view of the Trinatic driver. I'm going to try to show you in the frame right there. But see that pin right there? That little pin is actually uh, traced into the PDU pin right here. And then this solder pin right there feeds back to pin 14 on the Trinatic chip, which is the UART uh, pin out right there, pin 14. Feeds back. So in, in most of the videos, they actually run a, uh, or at least in most of the, the diagrams on people on the internet for like whatever, let's say the MKS board or other boards, they basically run a solder bead from here to here to close the PDU pin. So you're sending UR down to the PDU pin. Whereas, here's a, here's a picture of a dryer that's already been soldered. Uh, Solder on there. So I already have the solder bridge. Actually, it's up here. So I already have the solder bridge, and it doesn't actually work. So I've already tried it because, like I said, the SKR 1.3 board is expecting to get the uh, the SKR 1.3 board is expecting to get UART back on the NC pin. So what I'm going to do is instead of actually doing the solder block from here to there, I'm going to run a solder block from there. To here, which is the NC pin. Alright, so I have the solder blob on there, and I just want to verify continuity between pin 14 on the Tramic driver and the NC pin. So you shouldn't have any continuity here on the PDU pin. Alright, so I actually have the X driver back in there, the one with the uh, solder modification here, and I actually have an X stepper driver location, so I'm going to go back and do an M122 command and see what happens. Alright, so I'm connected to prayer bar here, and let's do an M122 command, and this will try to communicate with the trinamic drivers. Alright, there we go. Take a look. That's what we're looking for right there. Um, see, we've got communication on the X, but Y, Z, and E failed because I don't have the modification done yet. So I'm going to go back, pull out the separate drivers, make the modifications, and we'll be back. All right, let's send another M122 command here. All right, we're all good. Awesome. Just a little solder bead, and that was it. All right, hopefully this helps somebody.